tortured by hostile natives, Jack Armstrong and his party are sentenced to death by sacrifice. Daringly attempting escape, Jack enables Uncle Jim and Billy to get free. But Jack and Betty are recaptured and now are forced to the edge of the pit of everlasting fire. You will make way for your friends. They won't escape long. Get down, Betty. Zelda's command has been obeyed. Return to your home. Lucky thing for us, it is out. Betty, look at this. The fire comes through a jet. And they're all around the pit. Look, Jack. Come quick. Who are you? Me, Umla. No time for talk. Come. I'd better go first, Betty, in case it's a trap. Me, friend. Go in. Guide you. Circle back and see what happened to Jack and Betty. All right. This is why the fire in the pit went out. Somebody knocked out Jacqueline, shut off the controls. You take him back and report while I look around. to get out of that fire pit. Yumla here managed it. That doesn't make sense, Jack. Yes, it does, Billy, because Yumla was just telling me that he and his followers were banished from their tribe for opposing the white men on this island. And that if the white men are our enemies, then we must be Yumla's friends. Well, that's different. Yumla, have you seen any airplanes around here? 
You know, big flybirds. No more no plane. Two come from far away place. Two planes? That would be ours and one other. How many men were in the other plane? In other plane, two men. One man have cloth over eyes and hands tied. Then we can be sure Vic is on this island. Whom will I go now? Live near jungle. There's swamps. Well, thanks for getting us out of that fire pit. That fire pit's a fake, Uncle Jim. It's worked by remote control. I'm not surprised. Right now, we've got to locate Vic. Yeah, and find out why they brought him here. Well, they must have some big reason for wanting us out of the way. The natives don't seem to know what's going on. Otherwise, Yumala would have mentioned it. Well, the place to start searching is the sacred grotto. The natives may believe a voice comes out of the flame, but I don't. We'll go in after dark. Meanwhile, I think we better find a safer spot to hide in. Well, let's not go that way. It'd be worth as much as our lives look for us, that thing. Let's go this way. What's the news? Our plan failed. I just saw all four of them in the jungle. The help we have around here is almost brilliant. But no one figured that native Yumala would get them out of the fire pit. And nearly knock off one of our men in the bargain. I know all about it. Here I'm trying to lead you to the conquest of the world. And you blunder on a little job like this. That's always liable to happen. There's no excuse for failure. Suppose they get a message through to the authorities. What then? They can't. They haven't any equipment. Why are you so sure? You dismissed them too lightly. You haven't even taken the lesson from their escape. That was a fluke. There must be no flukes, no mistakes. Now, these are my orders. Eliminate all four without delay. Now, go and see that everyone is alerted. What is it, Naga? My princess, the people demand the capture and death of the four white intruders. Do you speak for my people, Naga? Or for yourself? For all, princess. These intruders have defiled the sacred temple. Twice now you have asked this. Why? Because they have killed one of our people. Yet our god Exalta saved them from the fire death. What do you answer to that? There is no law above Exalta. Go then, and do not ask again for the lives of these four strangers, or you shall give me cause to question. as I thought. This fire's worked by remote control. Just like the fire pit. Give me a hand, Billy. Okay. Zorn speaking. Zorn speaking. There is someone in the sacred grotto. Have your men cover the exits. I'll send others from here. Any further orders? Yes. All one or two as prisoners for questioning if possible. Otherwise, eliminate them all. And Professor, don't use the new man, but let him know what is happening. Right. Wackler, listen. There's someone spying in the grotto. We ought to dispose of him. You ought to remain here. I'd like to help if there's trouble. Why, Mr. Hardy? You seem quite eager to liquidate your former friends, but I'm afraid your help will not be needed. Come. Someone's coming. Someone's coming this way.
someone's coming this way, too. Hide in there. Anyone escaping? I didn't see anybody. How about you boys? I didn't see anyone. Not a soul. Then they must be in the cave. Smoke them out. to get some natives and head them off at the other side of the bridge and don't waste any time. Give me your gun. be calling the natives to head us off. We'll have to cross that rope bridge. It's our only chance to reach Yumala's camp. Are you all right, Betty? You think you can make it? Sure. Come on. for the bridge. Don't sound friendly. What are we going to do? We haven't much choice. Which 
way should we go? try and fight our way through those natives. It's our best chance to get to Yumala's camp. Let's try it. Looks like we're too late. They're chopping away the bridge. Turn around and hang on. Just how far can Groot control these hostile natives? What menace to civilization is contained in this mysterious aeroglow? Don't miss the spaceship. The fifth smashing chapter of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy, at this theater next week.